here we are, playing Repentance. We got a, an incredible docket today. I apologize if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, it's not about the docket. Don't don't worry about this, okay? You'll As soon as I boot this up, you'll be like, I understand what went wrong here. Um, take me out of there. Well, you know what? I'll just tell you what went wrong there. I was playing as Jacob and Esau trying to get true ending. I had nine lives. Um, and it glitched things out so that I lived infinitely. And I said no. I said, I'm not taking the win like that. I refuse. Absolutely not. I, I'm not going to debase myself by taking a, 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 a glitched Jacob and Esau run to the end. So I played long enough to make Alabaster Box pay out. And then I, I Alt F4. Anyway, let me see. What are we going to do today? You know, I, I do, I've been having a good time doing Greedier on stream. Come on, not, not Tainted Cane, though. Let's, let's not be ridiculous. That's hard mode, but you know what? Let's say, it's so far, a good start. Good start so far. Accidentally uh, started two runs incorrectly. All right. Isaac Greedier. Can you please talk about Norbit being Brian Wilson's favorite uh, movie? It, it It's hilarious, right? I actually talked about it extensively um, in, in today's Isaac episode, so I won't overrun the points that I made there. But it's so funny to me that this guy wrote, like, some of the most, you know, noteworthy, like, melancholy pop classics of the 1960s. And then when they asked him, you, you would think he would be into, you know, like, foreign films or something like that, you know, something a little bit more sensitive. They said, how do you feel about, or have you seen any good movies lately? Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, writer of God Only Knows, um, Pitchfork's number one song of the 1960s, said, uh, uh, I've only seen one movie recently. It was Eddie Murphy's Norbit. They said, how do you like it? He said, very funny. It was fantastic. Then they said, what's your favorite movie of all time? One word with a period at the end, Norbit. Incredible. And I, by the way, I don't think he's trolling. I actually, like, you don't find it, like, in character that a 70-year-old American man, a 70-year-old American baby boomer would be, like, really into an Eddie Murphy movie? It, it makes perfect sense to me. It's in character. Okay, we're taking some chances here. Yo, have you seen that really cursed Geico ad? I, I've been watching some American TV, watching my beloved uh, Brooklyn Nets, of whom I've been a lifelong fan, absolutely dominate the East Conference and the and National Basketball Association, where it, um, it's the guy driving a car, and then his hood ornament sings along with him. And they go, you know, something, something, let's make lots of money. You know, do you know that one? It, it, it's been haunting my nightmares. <gasps> Tammy's head? I didn't even know this was still in the in the game. Ultra cursed. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, by the way, that to some extent, like all American advertising is a little cursed. You'll you'll see it, but I think every country's got its own unique brand of cursed advertising. I've talked about, you know, in Canada we have the Tim Hortons advertisements that are like, you're not Canadian unless you eat Tim Hortons. By the way, like, please lower the minimum wage so that, you know, you get the idea. We don't need to necessarily get into it. In Canada for a long time we also had things called uh, Heritage Minutes that were like little 30 second historical reenactments of uh, important events in Canadian history. Many of which have gone on to become very nostalgic for Canadians of my generation. I feel like any time I've been... Well, particularly... I, I can't say Europe, I guess, but that one time I was in the UK, all of the advertisements were uh, for online sports book betting companies, which was a little troubling, I suppose. Um, and it, it, it do be saying something about society, maybe. Um, in America, like, the, the number one curse thing about American ads 
is the staggering number of them. If you if you live in the US, you might not know that this is considered weird by the rest of the world. The staggering amount of American advertisements for uh, pharmaceutical medicines. It's crazy. Okay, this is fine. We know it's weird. I mean, like, it's... It's already weird enough, like, when you cross the border from BC into uh, Washington, you start to see advertisements for hospitals, which is a... Uh, it sounds like a <laughs> like an amazing song or or album title <laughs> but the amount of of pharmaceutical medicines that are advertised on american tv is is truly staggering i don't know what i'm doing i didn't think you'd make it there just to be honest And they're all, like, I, I guess the playbook is out on over the, not over the counter, far, like, prescribed medication. Like, they're always, like, it's like a 55-year-old lady doing yoga, and it's like, do you have explosive flatulence? Don't let explosive flatulence hold you back anymore. And then she's, you know, she's doing yoga, and after she finishes the yoga, she, like, picks up her grandkid and then bends over. Then she's like, she's doing things that the average adult does not do that frequently. Like, she's going paddle boarding and stuff like that. And you're like, oh, finally, I can go paddle boarding again. I, unfortunately, I had to sell my paddles in order to afford the $750 a month treatment for explosive flatulence. But at least now I can go without stinking up the whole ocean again. Palm tree girls need palm tree girls. Moon River Rock. Moon River Roll. I did season two is uh, it is now coming out July the sixth, I think. Way sooner than I would have expected. That's an incredible piece of news. I feel like the earth is healing a little bit. Was there HP in here? Do you know what? I'll buy Squeezy. They can't take the spirit hearts away from me. I'll buy Squeezy. I, I definitely do see the value of trinkets as well, as long as we do be gulping though. Based leftist NL. So one of the things is very funny, you know. Uh, I I I bumped myself off of school this week to to go on next week because there was like a staggering amount of community backlash. Um, the community backlash has also led to like uh, some people were talking about my community in other subreddits, and I got to read them and see how. I am perceived by people who maybe have watched me in the past and no longer do, or, and, and I think we're just going to skip that deal with the devil. Um, yeah, let, let's try to get some deals with the angel, maybe. Anyway, long story short, um, I was laughing because people cannot decide whether I am a, a leftist who, because I have done two Among Us games with... Uh, with Hassan, I'm permanently ideologically poisoned. Or if, like, I'm a hardened, dyed-in-the-wool capitalist because I uh, subscribe to subscribe to Bloomberg News on television. The jury people are they're flip-flopping and flip-flopping back and forth. They can't decide. And you know what? I think it's uh, I think it's better for me to exist in that kind of like quantum political superposition. Than, than to be easily pinned down against the wall. Retro. Oh, good. Retrovision. NL is definitely a libertarian. You got me. You clearly watch a lot of the content. <laughs> you must have been watching for a while. You can't trick me. That's a tinted rock. Oh, it actually was. What's next? The license to make toast to my own damn toaster? Um. Wow, I did get Ball of Tar, didn't I? Instead of Blood of the Martyr. 
Will you be staying up till 3 a.m. to watch Loki? Um, no, I have a, a, a very young child and uh, a job, but I will, I, I will watch Loki as it airs. Will I be watching it um, on Wednesday nights? Maybe, maybe not. I, I would say I would be surprised if I didn't catch a couple of episodes the day they aired. Historically, with, with the Marvel stuff, you know, some of the stuff I watch it the day it airs. Sometimes I forget about it for a couple days and then I go check it out for myself. I derive meaning from what I eat for lunch more so than what I watch on television. You know, we've all got um, arbitrary stuff that anchors our personality. Mine is not so much my taste in media these days. It's much more about, um, you know, what I'm, what I'm eating on that particular day. That's, that's, I, I choose to make food part of my personality instead of television. Sweetie. <laughs> I am trapped. No, do not sign me up for Blue Apron. Dude, I got, I cooked a real meal last night. I cooked that Justin linked recipe. Potato and chickpea uh, instant pot curry last night. Loved it. Kate, on the other hand, not a huge fan, so we probably won't be adding that into the rotation long term. But it felt so good to be, like, cooking for myself again instead of, uh... I mean, like, it still took, like, a half an hour to make the meal, which is what it would take, uh... You know, if we were using HelloFresh. On the bright side... Oh, that was a great shot. I can't be mad. Um... No, we can't. Because as the Lost, we're just, uh... We've already done that stuff. Let's run it back. Um, but I'm self-actualized because I chose the menu. Because I chose the menu, when you cook it for a half hour, it doesn't feel as bad as when you get freaking sideswiped by, uh, by HelloFresh. And you're like, oh, this should only take a minute. And then it takes like 10 hours. Okay, uh, dude, gift is pretty good, but for five cents, we get an item anyway. Let's go peep that. Lump of- eh, I don't know. We The bombs are pretty nice. Lump of coal's good. Are we gonna keep it long term? Probably not. That's a tough decision. It's an actual tough decision. Let, let's take lump of coal. It has a chance to be around long term. And then I really feel like we just- kind of pop soul of eve here right we happy few <laughs> we band of brothers I, I only quoted it twice yesterday well i only fully quoted it two times in its entirety it's a great i mean like when people we, we gotta hit this button immediately, by the way, when when the rounds end, because I don't want the birds to fly away. They almost do be flying away. What an incredible soul. It's like a minute-long quote. Yeah, but it's freaking sweet and hilarious. So, like, what's your problem? How, how valuable could one minute be in your life if you're watching me right now? Let's go! How many times do you think about it per day? Probably like 20, 20 plus would be my expectation. Let's take, let, let's look at least. There's a lot to like here. Um, I kind of feel like Satanic Bible has a very low amount of downside. A theme? Don't, don't even man, don't even. Don't make me laugh. A seven cent mystery gift is pretty good. I can live with it. I'm going to pop it in the curse room. <laughs> and then I'm going to pick up nine lives, I suppose. So I don't have to buy a bunch of keys. 
Um, I'm going to pay 7 cents for HP because it's... When we get rid of it, we don't actually lose it. I am going to pay... I'm not going to pay 7 cents for speed. Don't be, don't be a fool. I'm going to try... No, a reroll is not great value here. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. This is a good time to be leaving. Dude, by the way, can I tell you something? I got end capped yesterday. Walking through the grocery store, begging for the location of uh, coconut milk through text. I bought myself some, some bubbly of the pineapple variety. And I gotta say, I know you're like, you can't just keep waffling back and forth. Bubbly, no bubbly. Bubbly, no bubbly. I got pineapple bubbly. It's, it's quite tasty. Where would it rank on the LaCroix tier list? I'd have to think. Um, I'd have to think. But the pineapple flavor is, is nice. There's nothing wrong with it. Let me put it that way. I need some of that. I haven't seen any. Is is pretty good stuff. I'm not trying to stoke the fires of jealousy, but it's pretty good stuff. I gotta think about number one. I'm I'm not sold on it yet. I guess we have one range upgrade, which is you know, it's something. It's not nothing. It definitely do be something. Hey, where's my birds? Just kidding. Number one, victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Do you see Rick and Morty um, got added into... Well, Rick Sanchez, at least, got added into uh, Fortnite. Now, because I know that that's chat's favorite show, I think that means that it's time for Daniel and I to, to go back and, and check it out, right? It's not Pickle Rick. It's default Rick. The, the Pickle Rick skin, it requires you to get Dr. Doom's uh, Apocalypse Glove. If you get the Apocalypse Glove and then you take it to uh, the Mandalorian, then for a certain amount of scrap metal, if you have the Travis Scott skin unlocked with the Chun-Li bottoms, um, then he will turn you into Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick gets a, a Polsky, a Gorky pickaxe that if you hit the center when you're when you're mining trees, it doubles your mining speed and also uh, halves the amount of materials you get. So you can see it's balanced. It really depends if you want to do like uh, if you're going for like a glass cannon build. I feel like the, the the Pickle Rick transformation has some merit, but but otherwise. Um, personally, I prefer to build, um, like the Blake Griffin, uh, sort of model, and then I, I build that out with, uh, with the Danica Patrick perks to, to give me plus 10 to vehicle health, and then I just try to run people over. That's, I, I prefer to play it that way. Okay, chat says number one, I'm a simple man. Chat says it, I do it. I did indeed see the new Dean Norris. I, I don't want to even mention what medium it is, because I think it's better if we just... We consider him so superlative that we just call it a Dean Norris, as if he's like, you know... Oh, the new Banksy just dropped. I believe the, the new Dean Norris looks a little bit like this. <clears throat> when you find a new VTuber... And she won't show you her thighs. He's, uh, you know, more power to... I, I really respect what he's doing on uh, Cameo. Because I think it's pretty clear that the United States of Al is not going to be a long-term uh, endeavor for him. Uh, because of the fact that the show is uh, bad. And perhaps even just offensive. Uh, let's do it. Let's, I'm not scared. That's the first time I've ever minused? I didn't even come up with a joke. It's Dean Norris. Send your minuses to... Uh, ASAC Schrader.
Honey, wake up. New Banksy just dropped. Uh, what if me mom was a dollar? I will say when it comes to schooled, I legitimate like I'm ignorant of the entire twi Twitch ecosystem except for myself and my cohorts and then like I don't know. I watch 15 minutes of Hassan getting stunlocked by Chad a week and it triggers my anxiety response so I have to get out of there ASAP, but I'm glad it's working out for him. Um but I was supposed to be on schooled on Monday and the cast was like a lot of people who there are strong opinions about, like perhaps the strongest opinions in the entire Twitch ecosystem. And then I, I guess I'm gonna be on this upcoming Monday. And this upcoming Monday has Jerma, who the community is in love with. This is a big one. Ludwig, who we already have a little history with, whether he knows it or not, because of the Twitch rival or not Twitch rivals, but the Botez Bullet Tournament and and Twitch rivals Pog Champ, I guess. <laughs> and then also, uh, I think Pokemane's on it as well. It's just like I I accidentally like quantum tunneled into the 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 dream week, like the season finale or something. And Moon Moon, look at that purple purple emote guy. Look at that. Okay, I this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm going full HP build here for the time being. Um, that's a good point. Turn one bomb into two bombs. It's a great deal. How did they afford to book you? I think, I don't know, I, I think I owe the community, like our community, a, a great debt of gratitude because I was looking at like the cast and like literally everybody involved in the show is uh, like larger than me by far. So I was like, I don't know how it happened, but a, a vocal community has uh, has allowed me to get this opportunity. So I appreciate it. Why not take rotten meat? That was that was rotten meat from earlier. Um, so picking it up gives us nothing uh, in advantage. So we just... Anytime we can trade HP we've already picked up for a new HP upgrade, it's a dream come true for us. Because we get to uh, get one HP up. But if we've already touched the HP, the second HP doesn't do it for us. You have to... Yeah, it's, it's a peepo G situation. You know, you... Uh, it, it's really, uh, well, I mean, I, why not, I suppose. <clears throat> it's just Tainted Isaac. Like, Tainted Isaac is just, he's tricky like that. The fool. NL might not be the biggest streamer, but he does have the biggest forehead. This, undeniable. I mean, did you see that baby photo? Like, Dan is not wrong. I was not offended when Dan said, can we get a symmetry check? That thing looks like a perfect circle. It's He's not joking. Like, I, when my mom showed me the photo, I was like, oh my god, like... And then I said, how old am I? I look like I'm like nine months old. And she was like, oh, that was when you were four months old. And I was like, I had that size of a cranium when I was four months old? Yeah, poor mom. I mean, I can say it, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I did see that somebody on Reddit was like, I see now why Ryan's the only child. His mom probably decided never to go through that again. And definitely I was like, shut up. <laughs> Weird. I have no idea who you are. I can say it. You can't say it. You're probably right, don't get me wrong. Aren't you in, like, the top X percent for Twitch streams by number of recurring subscribers? I'm gonna be straight with you. The only people who know those stats are the viewers, man. In my experience, at least. I, uh... Well, and then also maybe, like, some kind of, like, business intelligence organizations trying to sell you, um, on, like, some, you know, data analysis or something like that. Apart from that, that's just, you know, it's a yardstick for the viewers, I think. Okay, this run certainly 
has a chance. I'm trying to think. There's, you know, what's nice about this run? It's already good, but we also have a lot of items we could absolutely get rid of and make it even better. I'm sure big streamers either know that data or pay someone to know. You would be stunned at how incorrect you are. Do you not recall that one of the biggest streamers on the platform got knocked offline because he just forgot to pay his electric bill? You know, we're not exactly the most sophisticated organization on the planet here. Okay, I take it back. All right. <laughs> That's all I ask. Um, yo, dude, money equals power could freaking slap here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's dump the range upgrade because we don't care that much. That's a big pickup. I would like my range upgrade back. Immediately. You can no longer buy anything. No, you can still definitely buy things. You still get money. Don't worry about it. We're going to make this... We're not even at the end here. Hold on. Stapler. I believe I have my stapler. Um... Okay, we don't need slip thread. <laughs> On the bright side, free keys, baby. It's probably slightly better for now. It's not a big deal either way. Um So remember, we have we have a slight bit of extra balance required here. It's not just buying an item, it's whether or not the item is worth losing your existing item and also the damage from money equals power. I mean, if we, I, we could absolutely get rid of nine lives. At a certain point, and we might be past it, nine lives is more of a detriment than a, uh, an advantage. There is a world where getting rid of number one is the right play as well. If we all, if, if we consider the fact that number one is a range down to the extreme and our tiers are already good and our range gets, uh, causes us to do more damage as a result of, uh, lump of coal, then yeah, could be beyond advantageous for us to dump that. But we want to dump it for the right thing, because if we spend money too early, you know, we might end up buying two items to replace it, whereas later we might only need one. By the way, I have to let you know, I'm not trying to stoke the dramas of Twitch uh, fire, or the fires of Twitch dramas today. Apollo... I talked to him about auto chess last night. He was very civil, but he said some fucked up stuff, dude. He said um, he he would love to play auto chess, but his words, not mine. Just being straight with you, the chances of me playing TFT are exceptionally low. So first off, wow. Then secondarily, just excuse me there. Um, he said he doesn't even want to play Underlords. He he wants to play the original auto chess mod for Dota 2. Not even the one that like Valve bought. And I'm like, dude, I can't. Come on. I'm just bu buying in on, you know, not the ground floor. Like I'm I'm buying in like the buildings have already been built completely. And you're saying, don't get in that shiny one? Like, come live in my shanty town. I just want to play some games, man. Like, can't we just, uh... Can't we just play some TFT instead and have a good time? Riot already has your data anyway because you're playing Valoran. At this point, you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. We might as well play some TFT. Okay, 
The chance to become Guppy is pretty sick. I think I think we dumped number one for Guppy's collar. As as bizarre as it seems. Get rid of number one. Pick up the collar instead. I think we also dump Proptosis. I'm not, no, I'm not taking Hive Mind and then praying. <laughs> I think we got, we got to get rid of Proptosis. Get some range. Build it up. Yeah, okay, so Champion's Belt, I'm willing to buy for now. We, we suffered very little. We lost 0.1 damage. To be honest with you, I would like to buy a bunch of Spirit Hearts. I think that's where I'm at next. I'd like to be able to buy a bunch of Spirit Hearts. Bad. I'm thinking. I'd, uh, it's tough. We gotta we gotta think this one out a little longer. What what the heck does Birthright do as Tainted Isaac? This this could change everything. It gives you more capacity. Let's go. Twelve more. Oh, two slots. Okay. Four slots? Four, okay, chat. It's somewhere between 12 and 2 extra slots. Either way, I'm, I'm happy to take it. That's, that's pretty big. We might as well snag one of those and one of these. We don't really need range as much if we take tech 2. Why am I even thinking this through? Like, you grab that because it's funny? And then you grab this, because it's good. Yeah, I, w I will say, anytime you see me, like, try hard as a character the way we're doing right now, you can feel free to mock it. The reason I do it is not because I love min-maxing, it's because I don't want to play as this character any more times than is strictly necessary from a mathematical standpoint. Oh, like you're doing right now? I said that about almost all Tainted characters. You know, I, I it's a mixed bag for me. The Tainted characters, the ones that work, in my opinion at least, are super fun. The ones that uh, suck, suck really badly. I'm glad they exist for that reason. Like, Tainted Keeper is so much fun. Tainted Samson, Tainted Azazel's cool, Tainted Eve, Tainted Apollyon, like, they, they're they they're really fun. Even Tainted Jacob, he sucks, but he's awesome. I love him. He's my son. Uh, tainted Lost as well. Tainted Eden, I think, is, is horrible, but, like, we don't need to go into that necessarily. Lazarus is horrible. Lazarus is, like, the... Like, he's hard in the worst way possible, but we, you know, again, we're gonna talk enough about Tainted Lazarus when we have to play as him for six weeks straight to get everything unlocked in the game. So we don't need to worry about that too much right now. The important thing to remember is that Norbit is Brian Wilson's uh, favorite movie, which is truly a staggering thing to think about. Turkey Ass. Again, if you haven't seen Norbit, Turkey Ass is a great bit, but I found myself laughing again last night because they do a Turkey Ass callback. Respucia goes to Giovanni's, which is uh, a restaurant that she has been banned from because she ate too much at a, an all-you-can-eat buffet. Uh, and Respucia is there. I'll take false PhD. Trying to catch Norbit creeping. Tears. And uh, she she comes into the restaurant and Giovanni goes, you know, Rasputia, you know you're not supposed to be here. And then 
she goes, I'm just looking for Norbit. And Giovanni goes, uh, we haven't seen any Norbit here. Anyone know Norbit? Anyone? And they all go, no, no. And then she goes, if Norbit wasn't here, then who was eating turkey ass? And then they zoom the camera over to his table and it's just the turkey with the butthole again. And I was like, you, you madmen you comedic madmen you got me again with the with the turkey ass okay modem is good stuff we can definitely dump a random hp upgrade that we've already taken advantage of for modem that's a gimme all right let's send it You can dump guppy items. Mm, debate. That's good advice uh, for me to poop on. It's true. Well, I know I can dump them. The only question is, can I dump them and still maintain my uh, progress towards the transformation? And the answer is, I don't care because I'm keeping them. At least for now. Yes, you get uh, guppy still. Source, dude, just trust me. I have 60 hours in the game and am the executive editor of the wiki. Do you think the director specifically requested the turkey ass prop? Whoever did that, like, it's the only stroke of true comedic genius in, uh, in Norbit. Whoever did that is responsible for the movie having any comedic merit whatsoever. Yeah, I'm stoked uh, that, that Dan's... Uh, he had some awesome news today that he and his wife are expecting a, a third child. This is where normally I would put, like, some kind of, you know, sarcastic bit in there and be, you know, I don't even know what it would be. Like, oh, where'd you get that idea? Sounds familiar. But um, it's uh, it's just good news. My man. Wait, if, but if there's a Dan Jr., that means my man. <laughs> Only five more kids till his own reality show. Dude, now you're talking. I don't know though, aren't we? We're going through some like reality inflation, right? Like five kids now, is, or eight kids I should say, is like, that, that passed for entertainment back in like the mid 2000s. Now there's shows, like is, there's one show on TLC that's called like uh, 16 and Counting or something like that. Like you, you really gotta swing for the fences. 21 and Counting. All right, the guppy dream, now we're, now we're talking. That's big. Let's get some spirit hearts backing us up. You love to see it. I've been playing too much WoW for the past few days. What have I missed? Chat, will you allow me? Will you allow me to, to do it just once? The number one meme is... Uh, Kelsey Grammer. Guppy's collar, please. Let's see if this works now. Kelsey Grammer as Beast in the X-Men movies going, We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. For all men who spill blood this day are my brothers. May they ne'er be so vile. But battle gentle their condition. And all men of England ne'er in bed shall count themselves weak they were not here on Crispin's day. Okay. It's just gonna fish for some uh, some other stuff here if you don't mind. Like batteries. I know we're losing the damage here, but it's okay. Do you have this pasted in a notepad? Nah, I just uh, like listen to it like 
way too many times. Like, way too many times. I'll tell you, though. Now we could probably dump money equals power, huh? I was just looking for a trinket here at the end. But that's fine. Um, why, though? This is like that. This happens so often with Tainted Isaac. And it happens doubly with Greedier Mode as well. People get into arguments in the comments about, like... Uh, you know, like, what's the best way to play it? And then we win anyway. Like, they, they spend the next five minutes of the run typing F, 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 F over and over. Then we win anyway, and I look at their chat history, and they're like, I always believed in you. I'm just saying, yes, you won easily, but if you had taken car battery with knowledge of what the future would look like, you would have won even easily -er. Plus, money equals power. Immediately paying incredible dividends. Look at that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, nine lives, if you'll excuse me. I would like to take a speed and shot speed upgrade. Post haste, thank you. For me to coupon. Nice item for me to coupon. That was a great meme on the subreddit. Anyway, we're gonna be here for a while, so like prepare for that. No backseating, just hockey talk. Dude, how about the them Canadians, huh? I really like after Edmonton lost, I didn't really care who won the uh, the North Division. Although I'll definitely admit I was rooting for Winnipeg to, you know, to, to have solidarity with my good friend Mouth. But it's a pretty crazy story that Montreal actually made it out of the the division, given that they barely like made it to the playoffs to begin with. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Carey Price is doing a lot. He's being very helpful, for sure. When he stops the puck, I say, wow. I would, dude, Dream Finals is Habs versus Islanders. Like, it would be hilarious. I, would, I, I wouldn't care who won at all. I would be stoked either way. I love the, I love the Isles jersey uh, and, and branding. And, I mean, like, their history as well. I'm such a big fan of their music and their acting. I mean, come on. Billy Smith, Brian Trottier, Mike Bossy, Pat LaFontaine back in the day. I got nothing against the Avs either. I hope they they freaking crush the, the Knights. But for the Avs to make uh, the finals, they'd have to knock out the Habs. And I feel like it would be cool if it was the Habs and the Avs not. You know what I mean? It would be the most boring finals ever. Um, it would be so bad for ratings. Nah, I, like if Montreal makes it to the Stanley Cup Finals, there will be like a staggering amount of Canadian viewership for sure. You know what would be really exciting? What if Boston made the Cup Finals for like the seventh time in the last 10, 12 years? Pog, I like when the yellow and black team wins the game. I did see, by the way, that uh, Jay ranked all the NHL uh, team drip. And he put the Canucks, like, fifth from the bottom or something like that. I'm willing to tell you, Jay is right. The the Canucks, um, like, branding, logo, etc., etc. Please. Is, is not great. And in fact, there's almost, like... So they, they did a uh, a collaboration between the team store and some of the players. So they had Elias Pettersson, who is like the Canucks star uh, center right now. Uh, he, he designed a hat. The hat is literally like it looks like a shit post. It's a hat and then the logo on the hat 
is a jersey with the Canucks logo on it. It's actually, like, comical. It's hilarious. Like, I, I want to get one just because it's so outrageous. That it's, it's a hat with a shirt on it. We did it, by the way. Um, but I do also want to say, I think he's right. I think the Canucks logos are, uh, are not that spectacular. The only thing I would say is, uh, there, there were some things I agreed with, some things I disagreed with. I probably wouldn't have put the Avs number one, but, you know, I, I got, I got some fondness for the Avs branding. I also bizarrely think he put Dallas way too high. Like, Dallas was 19th or something like that. And it's just, I'm like, it's just a D with a star behind it. I think it looks like, uh, it's like the most boring logo in existence. But anyway, good, good run. Good run. Slash marker. Good run. Okay. 